Darius Lee is with me. He's talking the legalese of Joey's case in the last segment. I wanted to get into real world application here, why it matters, why it's important, why uh, this case could impact other cases in the near future, especially with the current times and what we're seeing. Uh, so Angus, uh, what what is it about this case that is so important? What is the real world uh, America practical, you know, application of this case? What do people need to be on the lookout for here? So here's the thing. The fundamental promise of our nation is that our government will not punish us for speaking our mind about political issues and speaking our mind publicly. That's the bedrock promise of our country. And when prosecutors engage in a pattern and practice of prosecuting people who engage in legal activity while turning a blind eye to people who engage in illegal activity because of how the prosecutor agrees with one group or the other, they are completely undermining that bedrock principle of a free democratic republic and it cannot be allowed. And so when somebody is being prosecuted simply because of their speech, while the prosecutor is allowing actual criminal activity to occur that promotes that prosecutor's viewpoint, the people have to come forward, they have to seek federal uh, redress, and they have to say, we have a right to be free of this oppression. And here's the thing, if people don't do that, and if prosecutors are allowed to prosecute based on political viewpoint, then we do not have a right to express ourselves, and we are not a free people. That's the point. Now, I see this happening across the nation.